So take your pieces of paper, there's seven pieces here, and then we're going to take the first one and fold it. When you do the second fold, you can line up the edge of the print, so where there's the white border, with the edge of the piece of paper. Make sure you score it nicely, and then take the glue and run that along your edge. And then repeat that until you've done all of your pieces of paper. I pressed mine then just to let them dry a little bit. Just leave them for a little while to make sure that the glue has fused properly before you do this next step. Then fold them all lengthwise in half. Repeat until you've done it with all of the pieces. Now we have to glue each of the pieces of folded paper together. So I did two each of these ones. Run the glue along the bottom and then up along the middle. After you've glued that bit, we're gonna open out the folded piece of paper and run a line of glue up the middle. Repeat this then for the other side. Then set that one aside and do the next two. So here I run a line of glue up the middle first. Then along the bottom and up the middle before gluing on the next piece. Remember to always run the line of glue up the middle of the flap, otherwise your star isn't going to open properly. And then repeat until you've made all of your pairs. The last one here has got three pieces on because I used seven pieces of paper. Then if you like you can press them again to let them dry a little bit and then we'll do the next bit. So you take one of your pairs and here we're going to mark the middle. This is going to be the top of the triangle. You mark it on the part where it opens, so not where all of the pieces are glued at the bottom. Ours is 10 centimeters, so we marked it at five in the middle and then I took it down to six centimeters on the side. If you want to have a more pointed star, you can make it longer on the side, so take it down to eight or, or more. I used a ruler and a knife to cut the, the point on the star. You can obviously also use scissors. So 
there you have your first one. Here you can see how the stars are going to open out a little bit. Here you can see if you like the, the pointiness or if you want it to be more. Then we're going to take some scissors and cut out some shapes from the side. I did some triangles. You can um, do as many or as little of these as you want. I did one smaller one and one longer one. You can also use a hole punch, that makes quite a nice effect. I like my stars to be symmetrical, so I always do one side and then use that as a template to make the next one. So you line it up and then just using a pencil draw around the, the top and then the shapes at the side. And then flipped it over so that it would be the same on the other side. This isn't necessary, you can eyeball it, but I like to do it this way. I like to do mine in smaller packages, so smaller pairs, because I find it easier to cut out. Obviously, if you're happier to glue more pieces together and cut them out, you can. So then repeat this, drawing around and cutting out until all of your pieces are done. Once all your pieces are done, we're going to take the glue and we're going to do a line along the bottom and then down the middle. I press towers here, you don't have to press it, but it is important to let it dry for a while. And as you can see, we have a star when you open it out. So the last step is to glue the last pieces together. You can glue them and then obviously you can't take the star apart, but you can also use a stapler if you want to. So glue it the same way as before, along the bottom and then down the middle. Make sure you press it quite well on this bit so that it holds together. And there we have it, a star. The camera didn't film me doing this bit, but I made a hole and put some string on there so that you can hang it up. Um, really happy with the way this came out. <coughs> Obviously, um, you can cut out as many or as little holes as you, you want. You can also cut out no holes and just do the triangle at the top. <clears throat> it depends what style you want to go with. I also made a second one with less paper because as you can see this one I used seven pieces of paper and this one I only used five. Um, I like both of them. It depends if you want to have a, a fuller star or one that's a bit more open like this one. Um, I think you have to use a minimum of five. I think four pieces probably wouldn't be enough. Um, there would probably be too much tension, but as you can see, those are those two there. Um, <clears throat> we used one of our prints. I printed it just on our home laser printer in black and white, obviously. <clears throat> um, and it made this size star, which I think is very nice. The, this print is available to download, download on our Etsy page, so go and check that out if you want. Um, you can use any scrap pieces of paper. Um, 
But I like that this star is made with A4 because you can print any pattern you want to. But I really like the way that this has got our wood print on. Um, I hope you liked the, the video. Give it a like or click subscribe if you want to see what other videos we've got. And yeah, have fun crafting.